Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. So the last glitch that I uh, uploaded was really hard to hit for some of you and there were others who were able to succeed within one or two tries. So I can say that there's a lot of RNG based on that method, although this is the only solo method for PC right now. But I'm back here today and using this glitch, I will be showing you how to glitch on wheels. So using this method, you will need the auto shop, which I'm showing back there. And you will also need the MOC, which is parked right behind me in the spot that we want to. You will also need to know that your MOC needs to have its third bay as a personal vehicle storage. And I'm going to show you how this works. So over here on Warstock, your bay 3 must be a personal vehicle storage. So if you want to glitch on F1 wheels, you will need an F1 car. If you want to glitch on Benny's wheels, then you will use a Benny's vehicle. Now those are your donor cars. For the car that you want to glitch your wheels on, first it should be saved in the MOC. And of course it must be insured. And second, you will need to drive this car out of the MOC and then destroy it. And after destroying it, you do not call Morse Mutual. You will leave it destroyed because that is what we want for the glitch. And that is how this glitch works. I'm just going to show you by calling Moore's Mutual that currently I have a Mesa that was saved in the MOC and it has already been destroyed. So you can see here on the top right and I actually have to spend money to actually bring it back. But I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to leave it inside. But before you proceed any further, to glitch on wheels in this way, it will only work on PC. It will not work on consoles. And that is because PC and consoles save very, very differently. So once you have all that ready, just pull up your phone and then call in your F1 vehicle or your Benny's vehicle. For the purpose of this video, I am going to use the BRH, which is an F1 vehicle because I want to glitch on F1 wheels. Now to glitch on F1 wheels, it must be an F1 vehicle because we'll be using it to actually buy the wheels in order for it to transfer. And if you're doing Benny's wheels, it must be a Benny's vehicle. So while we wait for the vehicle, do take some time to drop a like and subscribe as I have more videos upcoming. So now that my BR8 has arrived, what I'm going to do is I am going to drive it to a certain angle in between the MOC and the auto shop. Now before you reach that location, just open up your interaction menu and leave it open and position it so that it's halfway between the MOC and the auto shop, touching the auto shop shutters and within range of the MOC entry. Once you have that position, like how you see it here, close your interaction menu and you don't have to press any button, you will be teleported straight into the MOC. What you want to do next is to exit the MOC and we're going to bring some street cars in. Now again, I have to mention that this glitch is actually pretty hard to hit, only just because of how the cars position themselves when they go inside the MOC. So in order to do this video, I actually tried more than 20 times just to pull in different cars in order for the glitch to work. So if you are not the patient type and you don't want to try 20 or 30 times in order for a glitch to work, then you should quit now. So as you can see, the car actually spawned on top of my F1 vehicle, which is not something that we want. So what you're going to want to do next is to exit the MOC and then bring in another vehicle to try again. So I'm not trying to make this video very long, so I just cut ahead. It is still the Mesa that I want to put the F1 wheels on and I'm still using the same F1 vehicle. So I just cut off the part where I actually tried 20 street cars and it did not work because what we're trying to achieve here is to block off all access to your F1 or Benny's vehicle while having all of its wheels touch the ground. And that in itself is very, very random. So over here, you can see that I have a vehicle that is right next to my F1 car and it's almost in a position where it will block off all access to the F1 vehicle. Now what you see me doing here is trying to push the cars a little because they are still a bit glitchy and jumpy. And you can see that it does work because you see the cars moving a little here and there. So when you do actually encounter situations like this when you're so close, you can actually try making your way around and giving the car a push here and there before you try with another car. Now it was unfortunate that I actually got trapped in this location and I could not exit MOC. And no matter how many times I actually tried or um, go in how many directions, um, I wasn't able to get out of that little trap I set for myself. So when you do encounter something like this, the only way is to reset it by just pressing F and entering your F1 vehicle. And by doing that, it will actually make the streetcar disappear. But it will not change the location or the position of your F1 vehicle. So if you start bringing in another streetcar, 
you would more or less be continuing from where you left off. Now again, this is not for the faint-hearted. If you have no patience for this glitch, you would be better off to get a friend and do the gift cards to friends glitch, which would actually be faster, more efficient, and you don't actually have to wait that long. So after you did a sort of a reset and pushed out the streetcar, just walk out of the MOC and then try again. So what I'm going to do here is since I had a little success with that uh, Cheval vehicle, I think it was a Cheval Surge, I am going to look for the very same car and drive it into the MOC again. So this is not the car that I'm looking for, but I think I see it in the distance that's right here. So I'm just going to get into this car which is similar to the previous one that I had and I'm going to drive it into the MOC. So as always, stop before you go into that area and open up your interaction menu and then place your vehicle in between the MOC and the auto shop, touching the roller shutter and within range of the MOC. So the streetcar will also warp in like this as with all instances. And here I will be doing what I did earlier. I'm going to try to push the vehicle more to the side so that we can have all the wheels of these two vehicles flat on the ground. Now with what you see here, it should already work. So make your way to the exit of the MOC and then press F and enter together. Now if you have succeeded, you will appear outside with your F1 vehicle. If not, just go back in and try again. So what you're going to want to do next is to enter the MOC with the F1 vehicle again. And what we are doing here is to register this vehicle inside the MOC so that it will actually replace your destroyed Canis Mesa in this session. And it will be in this session only. So right now, you can actually drive your F1 vehicle to the nearest LS Customs. And I'm sure some of you know by now that at LS Customs, we will be buying the F1 wheels that we actually want on the Canis Mesa. Now once you're inside LS Customs, what you want to do right here is to go to the wheel section and select race wheels. So here you can choose the rims that you want. You can also choose the wheel color as well. And not forgetting that you should also put on custom lettering. But if you prefer your F1 tires being blank, then you can just leave it blank as well. Now anything that you buy in LS Customs right now, they will get transferred over to the Canon's Mesa as long as they can accept that mod. So I'm pretty sure that wheels and wheel colors, tire smoke and custom letters do transfer. But if you're trying to buy super transmission for the Canon's Mesa, that will not work. And if you're thinking of transferring livery on the BR8 or your F1 vehicle to the Canis Mesa, that will not work as well because the Canis Mesa does not accept any kind of livery. If you actually want to see what kind of mods that the Canis Mesa can accept, you can just go down to GTA Fandom and the wiki will actually show you what kind of mods and what kind of upgrades the Canis Mesa can take in. Normally in other glitches, I would recommend changing the license plate. But for one, you cannot change the license plate on an F1 vehicle. And two, your Canis Mesa will not have its plates changed. So it's pretty safe this way. Just a reminder for some of you, if you wish to remove the roll cage from the Canis Mesa, you should actually do the wheels first before you do the glitch to remove the roll cage. Because after you're done with the F1 vehicle, it will automatically put the roll cage back onto your Mesa. Now once you're done with all that you want to buy, just exit LS Customs, open up your pause menu, and then go to creator mode. Once in creator mode, just open up your pause menu again, go to online, and go to an invite only session. Now since my spawn was set to last location, I just spawned over here, but as you can see, there's a personal vehicle icon over there, and that should be my Mesa. And what you can see here is that I've got my wheels glitched on. They are the right color with the right lettering. And of course, they are F1 wheels. So I need to say this again, this is only for PC and not consoles. And using this glitch to put on F1 wheels and Benny's wheels can be pretty frustrating because it will take several tries. Actually, not several tries, maybe 20 or 30 or even 40 tries. The only benefit of this glitch is that it is completely solo and you can do it anytime you want and you don't need a friend to do this. And with this glitch, there is no additional saving to be done. Once you have bought all the mods that you want to transfer, it is already done. The only reason why I go to creator mode and then back to invite only is to show you that the changes do stick. And that's it for the glitch. It is simple enough, though it may take a very long time to hit that random factor with the streetcars. And as usual, I thank you for watching. 
and I hope to see you in my next video.